Kyrie Irving is said to be the best ball handler of all time, but what makes his handles so unique may surprise you. In this video, I'm going to analyze his dribbling style so you can understand just how good his handles are. Welcome to Informathletics, the fusion of technology and basketball. In general, NBA players have the best ball handling abilities in the world. Despite this, Kyrie Irving's skills sit at the top. This is in part because of his ability to use every move at any given time. If you want to see someone go behind the back, crossover, between the legs, and add a spin move all in one isolation play, then Kyrie is your man. And here's Kyrie Irving, played by Marcus Smart. Irving on the drive, Irving on the spin. There is no secret that other NBA players can also perform fancy dribbling moves. But the ability to perform such moves is not what sets Kyrie Irving apart from the rest. Many other players can perform high-level isolation dribbling moves to get themselves an open shot, yet there seems to be something unique that places Kyrie above everyone else. Best handles of all time. You gonna put Kyrie in there? Kyrie's the best, bro. <laughs> For me, it's hard to make lists, but Kyrie's the best ever. <laughs> To figure this out, I watched play after play of the best ball handlers in NBA history and tracked what moves they used in isolation situations. I found something special and unique about Kyrie Irving. This video is sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University. Have you ever found yourself at your job or at school wishing you could just dedicate more time to your passion of sports? Well, look no further because Southern New Hampshire University has got you covered with their online sports management program. Turn your passion for sports into a degree from Southern New Hampshire University. You'll learn all about the business and economics of sports, sports management, and how to gather and analyze sports data. This degree can help prepare you for a career as an athletic director, sports information director, marketing manager, and other exciting roles in the sports industry. And you'll have the opportunity to take advantage of an internship or experiential course within the field. Your courses are taught by faculty with real world experience. So you'll have opportunities to connect with people in the industry. And when you graduate, SNHU will still be there to help you on your job hunt. Don't miss out. Follow the link in the description to get free information to see if the sports management program is the right fit for you. SNHU is accredited and nonprofit and dedicated to giving you the most affordable tuition possible. Take advantage of this great opportunity to join one of the country's most innovative institutions. Go to snhu.edu slash informathletics to learn more. You can also find the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Go ahead and check it out to learn more about SNHU's online sports management program. While it is true that other basketball players can use all dribbling moves, in isolation plays, they don't. Instead, they follow a general pattern. Take James Harden, for example. James Harden is known for his signature step-back jumper and crafty ball handling. After watching many of his isolation plays, a pattern quickly emerged. James Harden almost always does the same thing. A series of between-the-leg dribbles and crossovers then he either steps back for a three, about 50% of the time, or blows by his defender to score at the rim. Here is Harden. Already two assists in the corner, has that three as well. Oh, crosses over Mobley! In all the plays I watched of James Harden, he never used a spin move, behind the back dribble, or hesitation, even once. Although his method of attack is very effective for him, Limiting himself to only a few moves does make him a bit more predictable. If we were to add it up according to basic dribbling move category, Harden only employs about half of all possible dribbling moves. As soon as he puts on some LBs, Mobley, he's going to be awesome. Harden drills the three! But James Harden wasn't the only player I took a look at. I also took a look at Allen Iverson. He, of course, is revered as one of the most dynamic guards in NBA history. He brings a street ball flair to the court. His quickness and quick crossovers define his dribbling style. Unlike James Harden, Iverson does use more moves in isolation situations. However, he still doesn't use every move. His use of moves like a hesitation or step back is rare. Considering this, and if we don't count the moves he uses less than 0.1 times per play, 
Iverson regularly only uses about 66% of available triple moves in isolation. Iverson working against Wesley who has three personals. Iverson driving in. That's Ah, uh, but what about good old Chef Curry? You see, if anyone were to challenge Kyrie's top spot for best handles of all time, Steph Curry would definitely be in the conversation. There is a reason they call him the chef. He cooks people. Game one, Western Conference semifinals. As Curry does his magic, gets by Gobert and scores. Porzingis and Kuzma can't stay with number 30. A little show and go. Put it up and in. Oh, wow. I can't stop. Look at him shaking his head. But even with Steph Curry, I found a pattern in how he attacks. Because Steph Curry is the best shooter of all time, he often uses this to his advantage. Of all the players I watched, he used hesitation moves more than anyone. He freezes defenders by making them think he will pull up for a three, then blows right past them. What makes him even more deadly is his ability to use almost every dribbling move available. He will go behind his back, step back, hesitate, crossover, and more. However, there is still one move that Curry rarely uses, and that is the spin move. In all the isolation plays I watched of Steph Curry, he only used the spin move once. This gives him a score of 83 on our chart, meaning he will regularly use 5 out of the 6 dribbling categories. Which brings us to Kyrie Irving. Here is why Kyrie Irving sits above the rest. He will regularly use all types of dribbling moves. When I analyze Kyrie, it seemed almost random which move he would use at any given time. Under our same criteria, Kyrie employs 100% of his moves. What makes him so powerful in isolation is that he doesn't even have to use all of his moves. Check out this play. That's different. I think he's... Nicely done. Oh, Kyrie Irving has been showing off a lot of... Did you see a crossover? Maybe a spin move or hesitation? No. Kyrie can switch between throwing everything at you. Mark of the second quarter. Shot clock is down to three. Kyrie Irving doing an answer. The defense is under pressure enough to get three. Put that shot up and down. Or seemingly nothing. Or Kyrie. Are you kidding Man, me? that's some sauce. He can use it all. He will use it all. But you don't know what's coming. There are no patterns to his attack. You always want to have second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth moves where the defender just gets tired and he doesn't want to guard you anymore. And that is what makes Kyrie's handles so good. Add in the fact that he is a three-level scorer and one of the best at splitting a double team, and you have a player with the best handles of all time. When he has the ball in isolation, he is virtually unstoppable. Just like Nikola Jokic's jump shot. When Nikola Jokic needs to get a jump shot off, he can. But what makes Nikola Jokic's shot so unstoppable? To find that out, you're going to have to watch the other video.